Hi everybody and welcome to a gameplay commentary of Aura Lux. Now this is a, a indie RTS game um, and I got the free demo of it. It's it costs five dollars, which is like three eighty euros, um, and and I'm going to show you what it is briefly. Um, I'm just I'm going to try and explain it on the fly. Basically, this is us. This is me. Okay, we are a planet. Okay, that's all that this is. This is a planet, and the rings you can see around the outside are how much you can grow the planet. Um, so the and there's I'm zooming out a bit so you can see the enemies, but there's a green enemy and a blue enemy. Uh, sorry, green enemy and a, a red enemy. Um, if these these dudes here, these like little shiny orb thingies, the aura, I suppose you want to call them, they are um, the workers and and the army and everything. That's the only unit you have. And um, I noticed there weren't many video tutorials on YouTube of, of this game, so I thought I might as well try and see what I can do to try and get people to understand it a bit. But um, basically what it is, as I'm taking my, my units here to capture this sun, because this is the biggest sun in the map. It's got three layers. So now I have the first layer. So now I've got two, two planets, and now I'm going to send all my workers to make their planets bigger. Because if they, make, if they become bigger, they, they um, start spawning more, more workers. And um, I've played this game a couple times, only this map, because I, I'm not sure about buying the full version yet. I need soon to get a PayPal. Uh, but I'm in the process of doing that, so we'll see. Um, but basically what I'm doing now is I'm feeding these workers to the planet. And um, the planet is going to eventually, when the blue bar reaches its full, it's going to go out to the second layer. And um, each this one has only got two layers, and this one's got three. Um, but the bigger, like I said, the bigger the planet, the more workers it spawns. So I just get, I get sort of an economic advantage to start with. But as you can see, I've got very few workers compared to the enemy. However, um, I have got two. Um, well, right now I got no. This planet is the same size. Uh, my, my top left planet is the same size as their little ones, but my middle one is big as their main ones, their home ones. And the big, the big one can still get bigger. So um, that's good. And this, and the home one, my original home one, top left up here. Is almost at the next size. So now, what just happened then? I saw something flash. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. But this is nearly at the full size, and this one is nearly at the full size, and then I've got to have two big planets, and I can afford to expand to these other uncaptured planets so far. Um, there's actually a fair bit of strategy involved in this game, because um, I think you can play online, I'm not sure, to be honest. But um, oh, yeah, now it's a full planet, so now I'm going to send my workers to capture this one. There's not really any particular reason for that, but um, I just am going to do it. Because they're going to move here now, so. But the hard thing in this game is to hold the planets, because um, they are going to start, sorry, it's lagging, but these two are going to start attacking me soon, so I need to try and do my best to keep them away. Um, and I'm going to try and do that by getting an economy up, to get my economy going, by having lots of, you know, worker producing planets. This guy is now useless, basically, because he's so far back in the corner. But as you can see, like, this planet is spawning a lot of workers pretty quickly, more than, more than the, the top left one. Um, I don't know what they're called, they're like little dust particles. Um, sorry if it's a bit laggy. I'm rendering um, a portal video right now, um, so please forgive me for that. But it's all right. This game is, um, like I said, pretty cheap, and I'm playing the demo right now. Um, the demo you only get this map, um, so that's I suppose that's fair, isn't it? But um, okay, I'm about to capture these two plants. I captured that one, and I captured this one. Yeah. Um, but I was saying the demo. The demo, no, it's 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 good. Um, with a full game, you get these guys are going to attack me now. So to intercept them. You can stay there and mass up a bit, I think, because I don't want to lose this planet, any of these planets. I need them all, to be honest. Um, and that's going to overtake this force, but hopefully I can catch up with these ones and save my life a little bit. Um, okay. Hmm, I need to really get my units in the right spot pretty quickly. Because as you can see now, red are attacking me, and I've got to try and keep them at bay, because I do not want to lose my planet. Because if I lose my planet, then they get a small one, but um, it goes with the small size. So if, if I recapture it, I have to put all of the workers back in to make it into a big planet. I'm getting double-pronged attacked right now, so that's kind of annoying. But hey, it happens. But I'm holding it off, so keeping my planet pretty strong, so that's good. This should be enough, I think. 
But yeah, so ro what I'm trying to do right now is simply just keep the economy advantage up. Um, I'm not even going to try and attack them, I'm going to let them have little fights. They're all attacking me, which is a bit inconvenient. But if they were to um, attack each other, then that would be great. Um, because then they are losing out when I've got the bigger economy. So come on, come on, come up with units. Good. I should be able to hold this off as well. Especially with a bit of reinforcements coming in. Okay. Yeah, I'm holding it off. That's alright. But as you can see, it's a bit. <laughs> you gotta. It, it, for such a calming, simple game, um, it actually takes a fair bit of concentration and a fair bit of strategy as well. I was quite impressed with the amount of strategy involved. It looks like, yeah, pretty simple, nothing too difficult. But it, I don't know. I, I quite like it. Also, the, the soundtrack's amazing. And when they fight, they play like a sort of a, a piano tune thing, which is nice. As you can hear that right now. I'll try and turn the volume up a bit for um for this one. I don't think I'm gonna attack a planet yet. I think I'm gonna stay here and be happy. See these two are attacking now? When they get weakened, I'll march in and take over them now, but I'm not gonna leave one of my planets undefended for the sake of, you know, an, an attempt at attacking them, because I don't think I have enough to, to take on any of these planets at the moment. They're all quite well defended, because they've all been attacking me. Okay, come on. This should be enough to hold off most things. I've got a lot of stuff right there, so. Um, so I'm moving them out to reach them outside the battlefield. Um, we haven't actually seen any planets being attacked or, sorry, taken over from an attack yet, but you will see that at some point, I'm sure. I'm not sure how long this will take exactly, but um, you get the idea, so. Anyway, I mean, YouTube extended the time limit for me, so that's kind of handy. Um, not just for me in general, but overall. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I did think I'd do this just because there's such a small amount of content for this on YouTube. I, I found a couple of tutorials, something with a, a Chinese or Korean um, title, and then something which had no commentary. So I thought I might as well come and try and give a bit of commentary. Um, so I hope you appreciate that. And just so that you don't know, guys, that um, I'm not going to be making a whole series of this. This is just going to be a one-off just to show you the game. I saw this on someone else's channel, on Diggity Starcraft's channel, because I like Starcraft. Um, and that was interesting for me to watch, and so I thought I might as well make one as well. See if you guys like it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not very rich, so I can't afford to get the whole game. Although I think I would, it's a bit of fun, so... Not really a whole lot to talk about, the green things are attacking me, and I'm attacking them back with my blue things, and that's about it. See, this is right here. I quite like this right now, because they're, they're getting a bit weakened. Although they're attacking me, so I don't really appreciate that very much. But as you can see, I'm just a bit out producing them. They, they can't really take me on. I'm waiting for one of them to attack the other one, lose a lot of stuff, and then let me move in. Because this is quite fun. Just easily having the advantage. That's it, I'm attacking this planet now. Let's see if I can take it. I've got enough units, I think. But then if they come and attack me too, oh, I better like, pull back. I'll let them waste here a bit, and then... Come on, I gotta defend this planet up here because the red thing's gonna come. And luckily, I think I've got enough. But this will be good because they're gonna be both weakened. So I can take that over right now. Upwards and onwards. Yeah, I got it. It's mine. And I should have enough to defend against all the incoming attacks, basically. And it starts producing more units for me, which is really good. So, um... I told you, economy's the way to go. That's the way to go. Build up, hold your advantage, and destroy them. <laughs> it's funny, because I, I can see the um, other RTSs in this game. I might as well know, should I take out red or weaken green? Um, I want the big planet, so I might just do that. Okay, I'll mass up here for a bit. I need to hold off against the green people. I'm gonna go and attack upwards. This is kinda dangerous because I'm leaving two planets undefended. Especially since um, green have been acting a bit douchey lately. But I, I'll move these guys in the middle a bit to try and defend it up. But this should be plenty. Yeah, you see? But luckily the big planet produces so quickly that I can really afford to do this, so. 
Uh, you can really see like how a bigger planet helps you. But yeah, so there, uh, there's a lot of different maps you can get for this thing. Um, should I sacrifice this? Sort of? No. Yeah, why not? Um, look, this, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting off really off track because I'm trying to concentrate a bit. But um, I think I'd be terrible at doing any kind of live commentary kind of stuff. Oops, no, you stay there, honey. You stay there. Move some units down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm holding on, but I'm about to lose that one, and that's not good. Because I can't really afford to lose it. And they're going to send in reinforcements now, and that is bad for me. Okay, see, now, now no one owns that planet. So I'm actually going to leave it, because they haven't got enough to capture it. So it's fine as long as as long as it's not being used to produce units against me. I'll wait till I can hold off a bit better against green, and then I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be able to hold this one off. See the health going up. The health is the red bar there. Um. Good. Let's take this one now. Hmm, if when this gets here I'll be okay, but until then I'm, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble, so. Don't lose my planet, that'd be really bad, because if I lose it, then i got to use all of the units again to get it back, but then I'm going to knock it, I think, so. And this should be enough to take it. Yep, see now, now it's a small circle planet. I'm trying to, get in, in, trying to upgrade into the full size planet. Oh boy. But yeah, so as you can kind of see, there's a, there's, there's a bit of thinking that goes on in this game. You can't just do nothing because you, you, you want to be able to stay alive at the start, but you, you also want to keep your economy good. So now it's a full size planet, that's good. Um, and I've got enough here, so I'm hanging on now. Just push down and take out. Just move down and keep on smacking them until they die, because I've got enough money to or money economy to um, hold them off. The last remnants of red exist there. There we go. No more red. So let's see if I can take you out, red. See now I'm just rallying, rallying units to the front and just wiping them out. It's funny because it's, it's a really simple and non-stressful game, but it does take a lot of thinking, and I really admire um, game, yeah, game makers, game developers who can who can do that, who can keep it at such a simplistic level, but still make it require some kind of thought, thought process. So, so yeah, I've won the game now. As you can see, I've got almost all the planets. There's no way he can outproduce me. So. And it, but it, at the start, if they attacked any either of my big planets, of this one or this one, while I was um, doing my economic build, I would have lost. So um, I'm lucky that that didn't happen. And I'm sure if you could play this online with people, it'd be a lot more um, exciting, as there'd be a lot of thought process going into it. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of units right now. So I can just afford to charge them down. Might as well do that, actually. So yeah, that's about it. That's basically what Aurora, uh, sorry, Auralux is. Not Aurora, I'm thinking of. We have an extra few letters. But Auralux, um, I think the, the the developer wanted to change the name of his game, but I'm not entirely sure. I think it was used to be called Aura, and now it's called Auralux. I'm not sure how Lux changes anything. But I, I like the way it's done. It's it's quite arty. Um, it's, and very indie, very indie, very indie. I've won the game. There you go. They've got a little nice little graph at the end to show you what happened. Um, so yeah, as you can see at the beginning, I was actually quite low. But then again, I went up to... Um, I got an extra planet uh, at the first plus, and then I upgraded three times pretty close to each other. And then from that point on, I quite steadily rose. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll cut this off now. And thank you very much for watching. I just thought um, I might as well put it out there. Show people what, what the game is. If you're interested, you can find it. I'll, I'll put a link to the website you can buy it from in the description. Um, five dollars, three euros, eighty, whatever you want, really. Um, so it's pretty cheap, pretty good. Anyway, see you later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.